In this video, we're going to look at how you can make your own animated countdown timer in Ecamm Live, how you can download this countdown timer for free, and my apologies if the following song gets stuck in your head. It's the final Hello, my name is Ryan Linder with Explanatory Live, and we're here to help businesses and entrepreneurs with their live streaming and video marketing needs. If you find any of this helpful, please hit the like button. All right, guys, so here we are inside of Ecamm Live. Again, if you don't have Ecamm Live, you can download a free copy of the trial version at the link below. But let's follow along with the graphics that are provided in the Ecamm Live graphics pack. If we go up here to the scenes section, you can see uh, the first one here about to go live. You can see some transparency. Here is one, there's just regular text. And here's another one that kind of has just a different background. It's a little more sports vibe. Now you can see that some of these countdown timers have transparency. Uh, that's a really great idea because when people show up to your live shows, as notifications are going out to Facebook, YouTube, everybody's arriving to your show, they can kind of see behind the scenes, see what's going on. What I like to do is not use my main camera for that, for the timer. I like to use something like my webcam here. It's attached to a long USB-C cable, and I can hang this up kind of behind me, up on the ceiling, and they can kind of see my lights, my cameras, uh, the computer, all that stuff that's getting set up kind of a behind the scenes before the show starts. Uh, so sometimes that can be helpful too for engagement as people start to chat before your live show and so forth. But here, if you're in the scenes uh, section, you can see here, let's just start a new countdown timer from scratch. Just hit the plus sign here. And you're gonna see a blank scene. Uh, again, let's put in the camera that we're gonna use for our countdown timer. Let's just use this one for right now. If you come over here to overlays, you're gonna see here it says show in current scene. Well, we wanna drag over this animated file. It says add animated overlay. Yes, add an animated overlay. And you're gonna see here it plays and then stops, but we want this to loop. So just choose loop. Then we're gonna drag this up to the corner. We're gonna drag this down. And there you go. So there is the timer that is now looping and you can see behind the animated overlay, your camera and all that jazz, right? So now let's go back over to overlays and here you see the countdown timer. Now let's just drop in some text and here we can type, you know, about to go live. Let's add that in. You can see that text there. Let's just resize it. You can use whatever fonts kind of go with your brand. And then here we want to come down here where you see the countdown timer. Let's just drop that in. There it is. And you want to do, uh, or you want to select this. It says go to next scene when finished. That way when the countdown timer ends, it'll automatically go to your next scene. Let's just add that in. And we can drag that out just like that. Now this font's a little hard to read, so if you need to adjust anything, just hit this pencil button again. It'll bring back up this window. Let's make this more of a bold font. Or right, let's just try regular. Hit save. Yeah, that looks a little better. So there it is. That is the countdown timer for about to go live. Now, the only thing we're missing here is some sound. Now what you can do is over here in sound effects, what I like to do is create a new folder, just like this one, drop in some soundtracks, make sure they're not copyrighted soundtracks. And then right here on the gear icon, you can click add to scene. Now as the countdown climber timer goes down, it's gonna play this music with your scene, which is pretty cool. I'm sorry, just uh, one second. I'm being told here by my producer that we have on the line an expert at countdown timers. Let's, uh, let's see if we can get him on the new interview mode and uh, let's talk to him for a second, ask him some questions. Oh, well, hello there. You can only count up, not down. Is that right? I had to drop that joke in somewhere. 
Okay, look, one more tip for some of your countdown timers. Now what's cool is, uh, you see this one here. A lot of people have been asking, how do you get this drop shadow to look like that? Well, it's actually two countdown timers. So all you gotta do is just duplicate, make another one just like this one. And there you go. Now you got some fake 3D text. You can also do that here. Hey, so I hope that you enjoyed this video on countdown timers. Uh, please follow the instructions at the link below to get your animated countdown timer for free. And also just a word of caution on countdown timers. For the replay value of your video, you're going to want to trim off the beginning of the countdown timer because most people don't want to sit through the countdown timer for your live streams. So just check out this video here. It'll show you how to do that on YouTube.